Hey, in this brief video, I just want to go over with you how you can obtain GitHub Copilot for free as a faculty member or a student or an open source project collaborator. If you go to github.com slash features slash copilot, you'll see there's an option to get started with Copilot. You click on that and you'll see the options available for business and for enterprise and you scroll down you'll also see for individuals uh, you'll see that for verified students teachers and maintainers of open source projects you can get it actually for free uh, so to go about doing that uh, for one of these categories uh, for students and teachers if you go over to the github education documentation site um, the thing is here they don't really make it very clear and easy you are going to need a github account um, so if you don't have one currently you're certainly going to want to sign up for one and before you actually start paying for copilot after you sign up for a github account you're going to want to register for their global campus um, membership as a student or as a teacher so if you go to docs.github forward slash again en here slash education and that's the language which the en is for english in this case um, depending upon what you are you would choose the proper category and you're going to have to verify you'll see what's here in terms of how you go about um, applying and all uh, and such but you'll verify your enrollment as a student or a faculty member by sharing an ID or other verification documents that they'll actually accept. So you'll want to go through that process um, and all so that you can get this for free, especially if you're a student or a faculty member, because you know, why spend ten dollars a month if you're gonna use this in the classroom or you're gonna use this to help you learn and to benefit from using artificial intelligence while you're in the development process. Um, but if you haven't seen how to put Copilot into your IDE, such as Visual Studio Code, uh, you can check out one of my other videos on the channel. I'll tag it here at the end. Um, but it's your pair programming assistant. So essentially, you can have AI help provide code snippets, provide incense, insights to the code that you're working on. Uh, you could ask it questions uh, and do many different things while you're in the process of developing something. So um, it's a very cool integration to have um, and it's very um, interesting in terms of capabilities to um, help you better understand the programming you're doing while you're learning it um, or while you're becoming current with the way technology is going to be working into the future. So keeping all that in mind, but again, you can go here to the GitHub education site as a next step, pretty much if you don't want to read through the whole doc, um, and you'll see that link pop up, education.github.com. This shows you the benefits. This is the option for the teacher, and this is the option for the student. Um, and you would go from here to go ahead and do that enrollment process as your next step. So once you have that GitHub, GitHub account, you'd sign up for Global Campus. Okay. And from Global Campus, you'd go ahead and you would go verify, you know, which are you, the teacher or the student. Um, and as you can see here, based on your options, to tell you how to qualify once again, just like the other screen, you'll choose the account that you're going to use for your email address for your school. If this is not part of the what you're signed in on, you're going to add that indicate the name of your school, continue on, and then go to the verification. Uh, pretty simple process overall um, to do that. So again, if you haven't seen how Copilot works and how you can add it into VS Code, um, that'll be tagged here um, at the end of this. If you found this helpful or you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. I'll do my best to help. Um, if you're not currently a subscriber, please uh, join, subscribe. You'll get notified when I release new videos. And if you found this useful, please share it with somebody else. Thanks.